Uh, my name is Alejandro Lozano Robledo. Uh, I am the lead faculty of the Future Mobility Design Program at the University of Cincinnati. And I'm also leading this same effort in the new Digital Futures building. I learned about Gravity Sketch uh, when I came to UC back in 2018. It's come a very long way. It was just really, really impressive when I first became familiarized with Gravity Sketch. It's really changing the industry in my perspective. The context of this studio was very complex. Uh, not only it's their first transportation design studio or future mobility studio as we call, meaning that they had to learn about a whole new industry. They had to learn about lots of terminology, lots of assumptions that you need to learn to be able to design vehicles. They had never designed vehicles. And then on top of that, they had to learn a whole new methodology. So the way I teach in future mobility design is more on the multi-level prototyping. So sketching traditionally, but then validating in physical space, going into VR and then back and forth, repeat that to be able to understand the true scale of, uh, of projects. So students, they did an amazing job because the constraints were really high, the expectations were really high. So they were kind of balancing out the effort of learning a new industry, learning a new method, and then creating at the same time. But the output was more of a concept project for 2040 that they could really uh, facilitate communicating that with other people and they would be proud to show. Back when I was a, an undergraduate student, it would really take you two or three years to be able to visualize mobility vehicles at the level that they are doing in a few weeks, so three weeks. The learning curve has been reduced so significantly that the most exciting and rewarding thing for me from the professor side is seeing where their starting point was and in a few weeks just using new methodologies to really help them communicate what's already in their heads. So that's most exciting. Gravity Sketch is not a tool to replace any part of the process. I make that very clear for students. You know, a new technology, a new software, is a new technology or software. There will be new ones in the future, but the true value is finding ways of enhancing your process. So the, the biggest benefit of Gravity Sketch is not replacing any part of the process, but rather using it as a back and forth tool. So you start with traditional hand sketching, you bring that into VR, understand the physical space, then mock that up in physical space, validate, tape up the floor, draw measurements that you can bring back to VR, take pictures from VR, create an underlay, sketch on paper again. So back and forth, back and forth, all the way down to the final product. Gravity Sketch is an amazing tool because it has a very good time and place in all of these moments of the process. And you can say that about most other tools that I've seen. Virtual reality allows you to understand if the space feels right. Safety and ergonomics are the biggest constraints in vehicle design. And virtual reality is a quick way, especially gravity sketch, is a really quick way to validate that. Whereas before it would have taken you months down the line to finally understand if it worked or not. The industry is significantly changing. I've been watching you know, these, uh, these processes in the past few years and Virtual reality, mixed reality, augmented reality, all of these are new ways that are creating new opportunities and are also shifting some of the priorities of the process. So in the automotive industry, as an example, they would spend many, many uh, months in resources or even years prototyping out in physical space full clay models of a real vehicle. That would take, like I said, lots of resources and time. Virtual reality is a new tool that you can eliminate the time frame, the time gap and the resources gap to get a very similar kind of validation. So the industry is experiencing change like never before. And in education from my side, I'm really trying to begin training these designers that will be a part of that industry in the next few years. I would like to add that I was very happily surprised. So I've had a relationship with Gravity Sketch for a few years. This was the first time we took that relationship to the next level in which it was a true partnership, a sponsored studio. They were really kind to not only provide the hardware, they lo um, loaned some of the headsets for the students, but they also provided dedicated tutorials, dedicated demos for our students. So I was truly impressed by their willingness to help us, but also the time and place. So this, this was Transportation Studio One. And in my mind, I was thinking, why would Gravity Sketch be interested in the first level studio where the output might not be as 
strong, for example, as Transportation 2 or 3 or the Graduation Studio. But something that surprised me was that they actually wanted to know what a first time experience for a student would be. Not only first time to the industry, but first time to the workflow. And I'm really, really happy we made this partnership for this specific studio because students clearly benefited from it. The output of this exhibition is a great sign of there's, there's something in here, there's something about this technology that is here to stay. And I'm really excited to keep partnering with them and finding ways to make it even better.